Now it's on Facebook. Good job, Leah. So we have Chef Nicole. Good job, Leah. You see it? Oh, yep. Okay. I don't see it. Oh, We have a few people join coming in, so y'all hang with us. Hello. Hello. Well, it, I don't know if it, we have permission to speak. I don't know what you have to figure. You're it. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Mikey? Okay. Who is talking, Gina? Can you tell? I think it's Chef Nicole. Yeah. Chef Nicole, we've been able to hear you at the uh, Heart Hospital, but we can't see anyone. We see a kitchen, but we can't uh, see anyone in the kitchen. We hear you. So anytime that uh, you all are ready to introduce yourself, I see a beautiful kitchen. <laughs> I, see, I still see more LifeQuest people coming in too. That's awesome. Yeah, we're getting quite a few. So I'll just wave hi to everybody I see. <laughs> Good afternoon, Yay, LifeQuesters. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> There's we're, Anne Morning. There's Joe. There's Sandra. We're Here's excited Paul. to start classes again this week. Yeah, I know. I don't know what Maybe they can't hear us. Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> they can't hear us say that though. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I wonder if we can type to them. Hello. We hear you. We can see everybody, but we can't hear anybody. volume of uh, it gave us the option to join audio via a phone call on the tablet yes um yeah we didn't know which number to pick yes 
Uh, any of those phone numbers should be okay if you want to hear us. Um, or but can you hear her? I don't. Yes, if she if yes, we can hear Chef Nicole. Okay, that's all you need. That you don't need to hear. <laughs> okay. And if you can, you can see the Zoom Nicole. class, we can type yeah, but questions. I can hear that. Is that not be an issue? <laughs> Will she need to hear anybody? Which phone? Which phone number do we need to select to dot to join audio on the tablet? Because then at least I can have it nearby. Okay. Oh, hold on. I saw a little join audio. Dial in or call over internet. Call over an internet. Call over internet. Okay. It went away. Now can you hear us through the yes. device? Okay. There. Now, if people have questions, you'll be able to hear them. Can you hear them now? I can't. Okay. Let her get back in the kitchen. Okay. Hey, Chef Nicole, I'm waving at you, and I'm going to see if you can hear me. Yay. Yay. Hey. I need to figure out how do you read the volume on this thing. Okay. And if everyone can find the speaker view, this is instead of seeing the Brady Bunch view of all the squares of faces, we want to try to find the speaker or presenter view so that you can see Chef Nicole and what she's doing as the biggest screen on your screen. And if you click the small box above, um, at the very top, it'll, it should say speaker view or gallery view, and you want to try to get it to be speaker view so that Chef Nicole is the presenter is the largest thing you see. Or if you're on an iPad or something, you might swipe your screen. Yeah. Okay, I am going to turn it over to Chef Nicole, and we're very, very happy to have Arkansas Haas Heart Hospital participate with us in a variety of ways. We're going to hear from Chef Nicole today. Later on our schedule, we'll have um, two other physicians teaching a LifeQuest Zoom classes. And then on Wednesday of this week, we'll have the CEO of Arkansas Heart Hospital, Dr. Bruce Murphy, uh, give a Facebook Live post. And he'll be taking your comments and questions on the LifeQuest of Arkansas Facebook page. He'll be following Roby Brock, who will start at 9, and Dr. Murphy will be there at 9.40. So without any more delay, I'd like to turn it over to Chef Nicole. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So I'm Chef Nicole from uh, Strong Hearts Intensive Cardiac Rehab. Yeah, that I go into a Hold on. So sorry. Sorry about all the technical difficulties. Um, so today we're going to be making a uh, avocado chicken salad. Uh, I really love this recipe as a, a snack. I can take it like I, I love that I can take it to like a party or something. One of the biggest difficulties that I feel like our patients tend to have is when they go to a potluck or something. It's really um, it's really hard for them to to find food available there that fits their <laughs> that fits their dietary guidelines. Uh, so one thing that I always recommend that they do is to make their own. Um, so so uh, this avocado chicken salad one is going to uh, be devoid of any extra salt. Uh, which if you have hypertension, you probably have spoken to your doctor about um, a lower, lowering your salt intake, I hope. Uh, if, if you didn't know it already, uh, high amounts of sodium uh, in prepared foods, canned foods, anything that you can buy at the grocery store that's already been fixed up for you um, usually has a lot of salt. So it's really good to make these things yourself. If you talk, if you came to the LifeQuest event that we did last year, Mark probably already told you all about the dangers of salt. So what I want to talk about is um, the, the other minerals that um, will actually help you lower 
your blood pressure. So today, instead of using mayonnaise, we've got an avocado that we're going to be using for, you know, just the general creaminess that you normally would be adding mayonnaise to a recipe for. But that avocado has got uh, a bunch of potassium in it. It actually has way more potassium than um, bananas, which are what we normally associate the most with potassium. I wanna say it has like two uh, to three times more potassium. I think that we uh, fall into, we fall into, it's gone. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it like golf ball, golf ball off the counter, but. Um, so we fall into this trap when we start dieting where we believe that like all fat is bad. Um, and obviously if you're trying to lose weight, you want to limit your fat intake, but I like to focus on how we can get the best fat um, for us. So by having avocado in here, we're getting, we're still gonna have some amount of fat like we would if we were adding mayonnaise, but really the avocado is bringing so much um, of the potassium and magnesium. Uh, it's also really high in soluble fiber um, that I view it as like eating um, more efficiently. Mayonnaise really only is bringing fat. It's bringing fat and that's about it. Being able to hear myself is exciting now. Okay. okay. Will you watch and see if there are any questions? If you have any questions, feel free to, to ask before and the Chef demonstration's Nicole, over. Chef Nicole, we're also looking for folks who are asking questions and so we can um help monitor for questions oh awesome thank you okay so i'm just taking my avocado and smashing it in addition to the avocado we're also going to be using some greek yogurt Greek yogurt makes a great mayonnaise substitute in most um, creamy based uh, salads. Why would you use Greek yogurt over mayonnaise if they're both dairy? So like I mentioned earlier, the the biggest, my biggest issue with using mayonnaise is that all you're bringing to the table when you add that mayonnaise is extra fat. Um, so when we use Greek yogurt, you actually have like a bunch of probiotics. It's also rich in calcium. Um, all the good things about dairy are, I feel like even more so in Greek yogurt. Uh, you're also bringing a lot of protein. Uh, Greek yogurt specifically is much higher than regular yogurt in protein. So it gives us the same creaminess, but it's going to be a lot more nutrient dense when we make it like this. It's also really tasty if you like avocados. So I'm gonna add my Greek yogurt in here. What is the quantity on the yogurt? I can't hear her now. I'm 
How much yogurt did you add? Oh, so I've got in here. I've got one medium avocado, uh, half a cup of Greek yogurt, and we've got other ingredients that we're going to add. Um, we've got my spices are going to be just half a, a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder. You could definitely do fresh as well. Uh, I just like that this recipe is pretty easily done, um, just out of the pantry for the most part. I personally always have avocados on hand. Can you email the recipes to the office and then we can share them on yes, our website? Thank you. Yeah. So now to this, I'm going to add a tablespoon of lime juice, lime juice, uh, lemon juice, and most acids are a great addition to your recipes uh, because the acids uh, will actually hit a lot of the same notes on the palate as salt does. So you tend to miss salt less in recipes where you've included either some citrus juice or um, your preferred vinegar. Those are usually the recipes that our patients enjoy the most. So next I wanna add my chicken. So I always like to give this disclaimer on chicken. Uh, because not everyone is aware of the fact that most chicken uh, is injected with a saline solution. Uh, it usually will, they, they like to market it as like, oh, it's injected with a chicken broth to make it juicier. But really uh, what's going on is they're, they're injecting it with that uh, so that it will retain more moisture, essentially, so that they can sell you more, some water with your chicken. But unfortunately, that also comes with a lot of salt. Uh, here, I've just got a frozen, uh, a package of freezer chicken from Kroger, where you can see that that's been done. Uh, the first ingredient says is chicken broth, and then there's salt. Uh, but there's 220 milligrams of sodium in four ounces of this chicken, where if you compare it to an organic piece of chicken, that you see that there's only 75 milligrams of sodium where uh, in a piece of chicken where that hasn't been done. So there's like three times the amount of sodium. I think another thing that's pretty telling is just when you look at the calories, when you look at the calories, there's uh, there are 20 calories less in the freezer chicken. So the organic chicken has 130 calories, and the one that has the sodium mixture only has 110. And it's not because it's diet chicken, okay? It's it's because those 20 missing calories have been replaced with water and unfortunately, salty water at that. So it's just, this is one of the, the things that I feel like you might not be aware that you're getting extra sodium. Uh, it can be a little sneaky when it comes to these things. Poultry is notorious for it. I know that around Thanksgiving, it can be a little hard to find a turkey that hasn't had this done to it. Um, Pork is also just terrible. I don't think there's any pork that hasn't been treated this way. Um, 
fish uh, is another one. So just be aware of that. Like what I tell my patients is I understand that organic um, can be pretty expensive sometimes. So personally, what I do is I wait until it's on sale and then I'll buy it and just freeze it in portions that I can thaw out and use later. Um, but just being aware that that's going on, you have the ability to compare some chop a little bit because maybe there's like this Kroger chicken was 200 and 20 milligrams of sodium, but you might find a different brand that maybe it's not um, done so much where maybe it's just like 120 calories or 120 milligrams of sodium. So just being aware of it, I think uh, is important just because then you have more control. But that's one of the pesky things that people don't think about. Okay, so just mix my chicken in here. I find I feel better. I'm gonna add a little bit of um, cilantro, but you could use whatever herb you like. If you prefer thyme or parsley, you could definitely use that. Whatever you have in your garden, if you have a, an herb garden right now, um, you can definitely feel free to switch this up. You could use lemon juice instead of lime juice in here. I'm just picking the leaves off of the, the fatter stems. If you've got like little thin stems, that's fine. You don't have to worry about that one. We're gonna add, so I'm just gonna take my herbs and roll them up into a little ball. This makes it a lot easier to chop through. Sometimes if you don't do this, you end up chasing the herbs across the, the cutting board. This just makes it a great deal easier. done this with dill and it was really good. Actually uh, changed it from dill to cilantro uh, because someone I had made it for told me they made it with cilantro and they just loved it. I actually made this recipe for um, the Arkansas, or what is it, the American Heart Association Sweethearts. Um, they have these teenage girls that will come in and we'll teach them recipes. Uh, we'll, we'll do kind of like we're doing here. We'll do a cooking demonstration and teach them some recipes. But the mom was so excited to see me the next year. She's like, we still make that recipe like once a week and like the teenage girl will make it. So, you know, it's gotta be pretty good if the teenagers like it. Um, this is one of my favorite recipes. I'll sit and just eat it uh, with chips, which we'll talk a little bit about chips in a second. Because you can actually really easily make your own chips. So there are chicken salads done. But you can make your own chips um, really easy just by taking some tortillas. I usually recommend this brand right here, the La Banderita. Uh, it's got 100 calories for two tortillas, which if you're cutting it into eight like I'm doing, that means you've got 16 uh, chips that you can have before you even reach that uh, 100 calories. Uh, there's only 20 milligrams of sodium and there's a whole three grams of fiber. I always recommend that you go for corn tortillas over flour whenever you can because 
it's fail proof, you know it's going to be uh, whole grain every time. The salt can differ on them, but when it comes to flour tortillas, they tend to be pretty high in sodium, uh, mostly in part due to the fact that they are uh, leavened with baking soda and baking soda is sodium. Um, but yeah, if you just cut it into eight, You can do a full stack of it at once. I'm just demonstrating a little bit because I've got some already cut. I'm assuming you can see, yeah. So here you just want to lay them flat on a sheet pan, make sure that they're not overlapping so that they'll bake evenly. You don't have to spray this. You don't have to put it on aluminum foil or anything. Uh, they won't stick. You just wanna make sure that they're not overlapping. But then you stick them in the oven and bake them for uh, about 14 to 18 minutes uh, at 350 degrees. Really, it depends. Uh, it depends on a number of things. It depends on how fresh the tortillas are. It depends on the moisture in the air. Really, all we want to do is eliminate the moisture um, and just get them to brown a little bit so they get a nice little toasty flavor. Um, so the time will vary, but all you're looking for is for them to get nice and golden. Uh, now, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to flavor these at all, you could do that. Um, you would just want to wait until the last like one or two minutes of baking. Once they're just about ready, you uh, give it a spritz of pan spray and sprinkle whatever seasonings you want to add on there and then stick them back in the oven just so they adhere. Because if you put it at the very beginning, then in those 15 minutes or so, those spices are gonna be burnt by the time your, your tortillas are ready, so. I really like them. I think they make a hearty chip. And I will say that like, there are unsalted or low sodium tortillas at the store. Uh, and those are an option too, like if you're in a pinch where you're just like going to a potluck and you, you don't have the time maybe to make the crackers or the, the tortillas, then you could definitely pick up one of these uh, low salt options. Um, but the way I see it, when you make them yourself, you don't have the added fat from frying. When you, when you fry the chips, you're adding calories, but you're not getting to eat as many chips. So the way I see it, you're much better off making your own chips so that you can more chips. Um, but like I said, I wouldn't feel, don't feel too guilty um, by buying a convenience item like this, because what I like to tell my patients is that it's not the occasional outlying treat that's really going to be impacting your health. What what really decides your health is how you eat day to day. If you're taking care of yourself and eating well uh, on a daily basis, a special occasion isn't gonna <laughs> isn't gonna ruin anything. Okay. Um, last last thing I wanted to mention is just because these I really enjoy these too. Um, I have a hard time eating fresh veggies, like just with fresh, not cooked. Um, but whenever I have a tasty dip, it's really easy to motivate myself to eat fresh veggies. So I love to take that opportunity. Um, here, I've just got some carrots that I peeled and sliced at uh, an angle so that I can get the biggest chip uh, possible out of there. I really love eating celery with uh, this dip as well. I just think it, it really gives a nice crunch. Um, so if you were diabetic too, that would be, you'd, you'd really be better off going with a vegetable 
um, dip like this. Um, but I think that these are really, I don't know, I think they're fun. You can dip just about anything, any raw veggie into a dip though, and it's gonna be good. If you wanted to have this for lunch though, you're also welcome to just throw this into a whole wheat wrap with some spinach and just like have it as a wrap. Um, Yeah, we'll definitely, we'll send you both the avocado chicken salad recipe and the, the tortilla chip recipe as well. I think they're, they're really simple. So hopefully you try them at home. There's I know sometimes out. with some uh, salads that are refrigerated or sort of like that, people like to let them make the day before, but I'm guessing with avocados, you don't want to make it the day before. You want to make it pretty close to serving. Yeah, you would want to make it pretty close to serving for sure. Um, the Greek yogurt in, uh, in the recipe will actually keep the avocado from oxidizing too quickly. So you could make it a couple hours in advance and that would be like, you could make it that morning for that afternoon and that would be fine. Um, but maybe not too far in advance. Cause I'm sure that after like three days, you'd probably get like some separating um, yeah. of the liquid and, and maybe a little bit of oxidation. Does anybody have any questions or comments for Chef Nicole? That's a pretty nice kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, it's do definitely have, nice. Do you have classes that you teach there? Yes, yeah. So we teach, uh, right now we're teaching classes on Monday and Tuesday. Um, we've got five different classes on Mondays at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., or 9.15, 10.30, 12.30, and then at 1.45. And then Tuesday is the same, plus an additional 3 p.m. class. Uh -huh. um, but we teach patients the Pritikin diet which is a um, just a low fat, low salt, um, low sugar diet yeah. um, that, that's really focused on um, just cooking for yourself. Because usually that, that's the best thing you can do for yourself is just cook it yourself because um, really restaurants and like the food industry, they aren't really looking out for your health. You gotta do it. Um, so we teach them how to cook some of these meals uh, following those guidelines as, as well as um, we have some exercise as part of the program as well. We have a mental health uh, specialist and a, a nutritionist. So it's really mm -hmm. like a whole, uh, a holistic, I guess, a uh, whole, whole body approach. Yeah. Um, yeah. I agree with the cook it yourself. I try to watch my sugar and I bought some Kroger uh, egg salad and I thought, why is this egg salad sweet? Oh and it my had, God, yes. Yeah, no. it had corn syrup in it, which yeah. was no, not the way I like egg salad. Unfortunately, uh, in like the 80s, we just declared war on fat and uh, that as a result of that, we ended up with a whole lot of added sugar in things because they're just like, oh, cut out the fat. And then they put in a bunch of sugar and salt. So yes. you see now this prevalence of, di of diabetes yes. and high blood pressure. It's, yeah. It really, it really yeah, comes don't. down to like what you put in your body is really gonna decide what your health looks like, so. Right. Don't get me wrong, I ate it. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, but I mean, if you were eating processed foods, which you shouldn't, if you look yeah. at the labels, a lot of non fat stuff has more calories than the regular stuff oh, yeah. because they have more sugar. Right. Oh, definitely. definitely. Well, I'll be making my own egg salad in the future, but you know, I'm not going to lie, it tasted pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, you can always. Um, you can always use a little bit of stevia or there's there's another one called monk fruit. Um, yeah, that's not too bad, yeah. In, 
and those don't um, those don't have an impact on your um, blood glucose levels. So right. Yeah. Yeah. On this, um, we've got some folks that have taken our, our your the class with Chef Mark, and we really enjoyed that at LifeQuest. And so we hope we can have you back in person. Yeah. Although I love seeing you in your kitchen. Yeah. Um, but well, yeah, it's, it's a little more interactive in person. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It would be nice. Uh, hopefully whenever all this COVID stuff subsides, yeah. We'll be able to do that. Well, thanks for keeping us healthy in the meantime. And, and <laughs> well, and we'll I, see you again on Monday, uh, next, the following Monday. The 20th. Yeah. Oh, the 20th? So not yep. this Monday. Not next Monday. The next Monday. Okay. On the 20th. Okay. Okay. On the 20th. Whatever Monday that ends up being. <laughs> yeah, we get to see we get to see Chef Nicole twice. So we're thrilled about that. And um, yeah. I know. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better next time. I got really nervous. <laughs> I got really nervous just from everything not working and just. It's uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's technology is the bane of my existence, but you did yeah. great. We can hear you and see you very well. And we just appreciate you and it sounds delicious. So we'll be oh, posting great. that. Recipe. Yeah, hopefully we'll some of y'all will try this recipe and you can give me feedback uh, yeah. next time we get together. I'm getting some positive comments in the chat box. Uh, we love her. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you Aww. from everyone. Thank you. Uh, folks are sending in their messages and we'll love to see that recipe on our website. So appreciate that very much. Definitely. And Vicki, I know you're there. So thank you for making this possible for LifeQuest from Arkansas Heart Hospital. You want to wave to us? Oh, you want to come wave? Come, come wave, Vicki. I've never seen your face. <laughs> Andrew Smith says thank That's you. The oh, there she is. <laughs> Vicki's the outreach coordinator that made this possible with uh, with the chef and with our physicians and with the CEO. So you know, that takes a lot of work, you know. Thank you everyone for being here. We'll see you again at the next Life Quest class. Tell your friends. Okay. All right. Do I do anything? Who's wearing a Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Chef Nicole. Nicole, if you want to hang around for just a minute and let everybody oh. exit, we'll see why you were getting reverb. Oh, oh yeah. okay. No, yeah, I, well, think I had it on the I had it on the tablet. Since we didn't have audio, I had to get audio on the tablet. Yeah. So you have it in it. two places. Yeah. 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 Okay. In one place you might be able to mute the microphone. So yeah. even if you have the tablet there and that's where the sound is coming out. There may be a way to mute. Right now it's muted. Oh. Can you hear us when you do that? Yeah, I can hear you. And I'm muted on the tablet, but the problem it's still is that echo. the tablet is where I'm getting my sound from. So <laughs> like, here's the tablet, the camera's actually over there. But Maybe she needs to mute the camera. Close enough that it's picking it up. Can you, can you mute the camera up in the ceiling? Can you mute that camera? Oh, yeah, we could have done that. Yeah, we could do that. Next. <laughs> try it now. Try can, you, it. can you test it now so that in two yeah, weeks? Yeah. Okay. I, it wasn't it. awful. I just want you to have the best experience as an instructor, too. And thank you, Diana, for letting people, Diane, for letting people in class and stuff. That was really nice not to have to watch that for once. <laughs> so kudos to you, too. I didn't want to call you out in front of everybody, but thank you so much. Thank she did you. a great job, didn't she? She did. I can see I her can't face wait to, her. Eat the, to make the chicken she, salad. It's my favorite thing. Oh, good. Yeah. She definitely wants that recipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chef, can All we right. hear you? Can you hear me from the tablet yes. now? Yes. 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 All right. I'm so okay. even though it looks like you're muted, when you look up at the camera, we can still hear your voice from the side. Yeah. So yeah. talk to the camera. Okay. Yeah. All right. Talk. Yeah. So you can hear me fine. Yes. Yes. All right. And, so and you can't. Next time. <laughs> you can't hear yourself now, correct? It just sounds like you're talking. Yes. Oh my God. That would be yes. so much yeah. better. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it is so okay. disconcerting. I've had that happen to me before where it's echoing. It's really hard to talk. 
Yeah, you, no, I, like, I couldn't concentrate. I you keep wanting to stop because you're like, what did I just say? What did I just yeah. say? No, it's, it's really <laughs> disconcerting. Thank you. Yeah, yeah okay. you, awesome. So now we know for so next muted, time. Mute it back there. Yeah. Perfect. Mute it over it. there. Oh, okay. Okay. Awesome. Yay! <laughs> well, it was not distracting on our end. I just have been in your shoes before, and I know that's, that's a weird <laughs> sensation. <laughs> yes, but it was fine. I really, and we... I felt silly because this is the sixth dem cooking demonstration that I've done today and I don't even have an audience to <laughs> intimidate me and I was getting psyched out. <laughs> now, um, the other classes you're doing, have you had an audience for those, in phys a physical audience? Yes, yeah, physically, we do have uh, patients showing up physically oh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, for all the other classes. Okay. okay. Well, thank well, now you. you can Zoom with anybody in the country and you'll know how to do it. So awesome. Um, and now you guys get to eat all that stuff. We don't get yeah, to. That's yummy. the disadvantage yeah. of this. Yeah, that is the sad part. I will so email I the app. I'll email the recipes. It's a really easy recipe though. So yeah, I'll email will. them and you can post. Yeah, I'll I'll email those okay, to you right perfect. now. I think we had 20, 25 people participating cool. today, not including nice. us. So that's a good point. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's there were a couple of cameras. I've had today. A couple right. of cameras turned off, so we don't know if multiple people were there. And then there was one oh. couple sitting there that I saw. So, so at least oh, 25, okay. maybe more. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, okay. we'll see you in a couple weeks. See you in a couple weeks. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.